This really is the biggest hoax ever contemplated against our country in 200 years. Now, I also mentioned the other fact that at age 20, he went to Pakistan. In his book, he states, I went to Pakistan on my Indonesia passport. Again, one of two things occurred. If he claims to be a United States citizen at that time, he has then done an overt act against the United States because U.S. citizens were prohibited from going to Pakistan in 1981. And, and then if he did, was a U.S. citizen, he would have lost his status when he went to get his Indonesia passport. I think what happened is he's always had his Indonesia passport. Someone did a freedom of information and came back that he never applied for U.S. passport. I can't confirm that yet. We've now also requested that, but I haven't personally done it. Until I do, I'm not 100 percent sure. But that would make sense. Now, then how's he traveling? Well, he could have traveled on his Indonesia passport, and once he became a U.S. senator, he's probably traveling, uh, traveling on a diplomatic passport. But we have a college, a Harvard Law School graduate who refuses to release his records from Occidental University, from Columbia University, from Harvard. I came up with a about a month and a half ago, and a lot of people are agreeing with me, why he, didn't why he won't release those records. I believe those records will indicate that he's, from Indo that he's a citizen of Indonesia, he probably applied for and received foreign aid, and that's why he won't release his records. I can't see any other reason because McCain released his records and said he graduated fifth from the bottom of his class at the Naval Academy, so it has nothing to do with grades, I don't believe. Why else? He won't release his medical records. He won't release his records from the uh, State Senate in Illinois. He will not release any records. Now, we're not asking for his Social Security number. We're not asking for his bank account number. We're not asking how much money in the bank. We're asking, first off, for his birth certificate. Now, a gentleman called me and said, remember that certification of live birth he used? A gentleman said, I carried my certification of live birth in my wallet for 40 years. I went to get a passport, and they told me that it wasn't valid. I had to get, they had to get a passport. I mean, sorry, they had to get the original birth certificate for the passport. A woman called me, she said she tried to place her son into um, Little League, and she took a certification of live birth, and he said, no, no, you need your birth certificate. We all need birth certificates sometime in our lifetime for Little League, for baptism, for college, sometimes selective service, for, for, the, uh, for your passport, for certain colleges, for certain applications, for jobs, certain type proceedings. So what is so difficult, Mr. Obama, to produce your birth certificate? But as I stated, I really could care less about the birth certificate. More significant, ladies and gentlemen, is the certification of citizenship from Indonesia. But that would only show he's naturalized, and I'm sure he has it. So I was dismissed in my case because of one reason, because they said that I didn't have standing. What that means is I don't have standing, Bob doesn't have standing, no one in this room has standing, and the judge went on and said, well, perhaps in the future Congress will figure out who has standing. I'm asking a question, which all of us should be permitted, to question the Constitution. Now, again, we're not trying to interpret difficult words like in that movie, what was it? I'll probably mispronounce it, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> I don't even know what it means. But we're asking, the qualifications are three. First, you must be 35 years of age. He is. Second, you must have lived in this country for 14 straight years. He has, even though there's a question about that now, but let's give him the 14. And the other is natural born. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult. So hopefully the Supreme Court will give us standing in this case. If they don't, I file, well right now I, ask, I told you I filed the application for the injunction. Hopefully we'll do that pending our writ of certiori in the case. And if not, there's actions being filed, you'll hear from in California in a minute, and other actions all across this, uh, this nation to prevent the Electoral College vote being allowed until he proves his qualifications. 